Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts, and today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create your own DIY custom cash envelope budget binder. Project, I'm starting in design space with a new project. I will be creating vinyl stickers for my plastic inserts to keep my money in. You can create them for any budget, but the ones I'm going to be creating today are grocery, Amazon, savings, miscellaneous, phone, beauty, and gas. There's so many out there that you can create, but these are the ones I'm going to be starting with. So to start, you wanna start with the text box over here, and you just wanna type in what you're going to be writing. So my first one is gonna be grocery. So with this one, I want all of my fonts to stay the same. So I'm just gonna find the font that I want. And every time I go to the text box, it's gonna change the font for me automatically. Instead, if I do it now and then I change the text font, I'm gonna have to go in and change it. So I'm just gonna do it now and save myself time. So with this selected, I just go to the font box up here. And um, some of you may or may not have the Cricut Access. I actually gave in and bought the yearly access. I will tell you, I love it. It was so worth the money. Um, not only with the fonts that you get for free, but also with a lot of the images and the shapes that you get. So if you don't have it, I would definitely look into it. Um, but again, going back to here, you can see there's an A here. So this is the one, these are the ones that I get for free because I have the access and uh, other ones are uh, priced for you. Uh, unfortunately, they don't come with the access. But if you go into system here, these are the ones that they give you for free or also ones that I have downloaded from defont.com. If you're not sure on how to do that or where to go, I did a video on that a while ago. So go back and check on that and it'll show you how to download and find free fonts at defont.com. Com. So I'm actually going to go back into the all here and I'm going to find a font that I like and I don't have anything picked out right now. I'm just looking for something that kind of jumps at me that's thick and that will be able to see easily. So I'm just going to look at this one. That's not too bad. So what I like to do instead of going back and finding a font and trying to remember which one I liked best, I actually go up to the duplicate button up here so that I know what the font was previously. So I can just keep looking for another font. So I'm gonna try this announcement one. Um, you may have one in, you know, in mind that you wanna use, but I'm just kind of going as I go along and kind of seeing what hits me. So again, I really like this because it's nice and thick, but I'm gonna go up to the duplicate button and just look for maybe one more. This is just even starting out. This is just the A's. You got hundreds and hundreds of fonts in here that you can choose from. Um, so let's just find, oops, I don't want to pay for that one. Find another one really quick here. Let's see what this one might look like. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> don't really care for that one. Um, here, let's try this one. So again, I like it when it's thick like this, but I don't like how it has the extra. Whatever jumps out at you, go ahead and grab. Um, but that's the fun part about it. It's it's yours, so you can do it however you want. So I'm just gonna look for one more really quick, just kind of scrolling through this. That one's kind of neat. But I, yeah, you know, I, I don't really like this too much. So I think I'm gonna stick with this one. So this is where it comes in handy where I said that you can uh, kind of visualize it here. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And I'm going to get rid of this one. Now, what was this one called? I don't remember, but if you click on it, it tells you right up here, announcement. So if you go to the text box and you start writing in the next one, you're going to know what your font you were using. So the next one is Amazon. And don't tell my husband, but I spend way too much on Amazon. So I'm trying to make up some stuff and this will be a good budget for me so I can see, I can actually physically see how much I'm spending on Amazon. Even though on Amazon you pay online, you can always just kind of take it out of your budget and um, put your money away and have like a starting point and just know how much you're spending. Um, this one, you know what? I didn't pick this font, but I kind of like it. But just for the um, visualization and the uh, video here, I'm just going to go back here. So this one was called, uh, called Announcement. So I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go into Search Font. 
and I'm just gonna type it in and then here it is right here so I want them to be I want them all to be the same exact font and this is up to you if you want to do that or not but it's just how I like to do it so I'm just gonna go to the text box and then just type the next ones which is savings and as you can see here it's already the same font so I can just keep going to the next one And you can do whatever you want, however many you want. I bought this book off of Amazon and I think they give you 14 or 15 plastic pieces you can use in here and store money in. But I'm just hitting just the tip of the iceberg on what I really need to start budgeting. So I'm gonna do the next one as beauty. And then I think I'm gonna do one more that just says gas because I have a big truck and it takes a lot of gas and honestly, I don't know how much I've been spending on it with the gas and all that. So it would be good to see and visualize actually how much you're using. So I'm going to start with these ones and I'm going to move them over just a little bit so we can see them a little bit better. And this is up to you. If you want to change the color, you can go ahead and do it now. But when I cut mine out, they're going to be all in the holographic vinyl. I think that would be so awesome with this little binder. So um, the le next thing you want to do is figure out the size. So I actually went back on Amazon and I found out where I, I uh, purchased it from. And it told me the sizes of the little plastic insert. So it's 6.9 by 4.1. So I'm going to start with this first one, the grocery. I'm going to go up here to the unlock box and I'm going to type that in. 6.9 by 4.1 so this is as big as the little plastic insert is but I don't want it as big as the insert you might or you might not so I'm actually gonna take it it's already unlocked and I'm just gonna make it just a little bit smaller I want it to be able to fill up the whole plastic part so when you flip through it you can see it so I really like how this is. Um, so I'm just going to do the next ones. And I'm going to try to stay about the same uh, size as this. So just for visual visualization again, I'm just going to change this just to a 6.0. And then change this to 3. And then we're going to do the same with this. So we're just going to unlock it up here and then change it to a 6 by 3. And kind of see how it looks. And even though they're the same size, because the letters are so few here and so much more here, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So you can play around it with it and make it a little bit smaller if you want, but I like it to be as close as possible. So again, I'm gonna change this one to a six by three. And this one's going to be huge because it's only four letters. But again, you can see it's about the same size, but I'm just gonna take it and drag it a little bit just to make it a little bit smaller. And then again, six by three. And again, by no means do you have to do this. You don't have to make it this size or however. I'm just showing you with for the video purposes how to do it. One more thing I wanna do is for the front of the binder, I wanted to say Jen's budget binder so that everybody knows whose it is. Like if my kids take it or something and they see, you know, they would know it's mine. So I'm just gonna put Jen's and then I'm gonna push enter and then I'm gonna put budget and I'll bring it over so you guys can see it. Here we go. Shrink my screen a little bit. And there it is. But I don't like it how it's got not much space in between. And because of the font that it is, it's not letting me put extra spaces in here. So I'll show you how to do that. So you select this, go to a line, and you center it. And to fix this, because of the font the way it is, it won't let me add extra uh, spaces in between. You want it selected, you want to go to ungroup. And what I do is I select this part, just the name, the last part and then I'll just pull it over a little bit and then I'll go back in, select these two and then I'll attach it. Because if you don't do that and do the next part, it'll all smush together. So I'm gonna take all three parts, go to a range up here, whoops, go to a line, sorry, and then set, whoops, see that's what I meant before when it would do that. So that was not what I meant to do. So I'm gonna go back and click the little arrow and I'm going to do the same thing with this, attach it. And then now I'm going to go to the line and center it. I tell you guys, if I make a mistake, I'm always going to be honest with you and tell you, so I'm glad it showed it that way. So here it is. One last thing is you want to attach everything together. Otherwise, it's going to cut out Jen's budget and then binder separately. So I'm going to attach it and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, maybe like this. You want to look at your um, the size of your binder and kind of go from there. I'm taking the little plastic piece and I'm putting it over my binder and I'm seeing it's a little bit wider than the plastic part so I know I can go a little bit larger than seven so I'm okay here so I'm actually gonna leave it the way that it is I should make it a little bit taller 
and um, it'll cut out just this way. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, go to make it, save all this how I wanna do it to try to cut on one uh, mat and I'll cut it out, weed it out, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys really quick. I cut this out. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is the holographic uh, vinyl and it cut out really awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna see how it uh, weeds out, but I love these colors. This one just is the Jen's Budget Binder and then these are the other ones that I'm going to be using. Unfortunately, I got one cut off here, the beauty one, so I'm gonna have to redo that one. But um, yeah, I love the colors on this. And I just wanted to show you really quick, this is what comes in the binder, so I love these. They have the little zipper on it that you can put your money into it. And while I was creating these, I'm like, that'd be perfect for couponing. I used to be a couponer before I moved to this uh, country, so we don't really get newspapers here, so I don't really coupon anymore. And here is the book that I purchased. Oh my gosh, I love it. It comes in so many colors, but I really like this minty green color. And you just open it up, and there's spots here to put your credit cards or even store cards or anything. Um, but it's really awesome. Here you can just flip through them. And this is where I'm going to be putting the names on them, so you can kind of flip through and see. But I wanted to show you where I got my inspiration from. So I don't know if you guys ever heard of Dave, Dave Ramsey, but he's awesome. I'm following his book, trying to save some money. Um, this one, let's see if I can can read it. Um, Financial Peace University. This is a Dave Ramsey one, but this is where I got my inspiration from. So this is almost the same as the one that I have. You just open it up and there's a spot on here for you can write stuff. There's a pen here. And then here's his envelope system. I love it, but the only thing I really wasn't happy about is you just stick your money right in here in just in the piece of paper so it could easily just come out. So I wasn't really too happy with that. I wanted something with a zip on it maybe, but I do like this one, how you can write out on it. If you guys can see it, if it comes in. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really excited about this to finish this up, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like before I went and cut it out. So I don't know if you can see it well on here, but um, I'm gonna weed this out really quick and then I'll show you the next step. All right guys, so here for the fun part, we're gonna put it all together so I have them all cut out and weeded. Um, these bigger ones were much easier to weed out. As you can see, they're a lot bigger than my other one. Um, so the next part is to put them on these little plastic things. Um, one thing I did mess up on, I'm always truthful with you guys, you know that about me if you watch my channel. I made this a little bit too big, so I'm gonna have to put it on three lines, um, but that's okay. I kinda like it that way, having three of them. But just always measure your stuff first. I was kinda going off of how big this was, um, um, but obviously I didn't do it correctly. So I'm always honest with you guys, so I'm gonna have to fix that one. But then you just wanna take your little plastic things. I absolutely love these. And I think this is really gonna help me with my spending this year. Um, so the next thing you wanna do is just take some transfer tape. I don't always use my really expensive transfer tape. I just have this contact paper that I bought from the dollar store and it works about just as well um, if I'm not using it for like a really big project. So you just wanna take the end of it and peel it off. Sometimes it gives me troubles. Here we go. And I'm gonna put some dog hair on here. <laughs> I'm gonna make it free of that. And then you just wanna put it on here. The next, you just wanna take one of your scrapers that you have and just scrape it down really well so it sticks to the transfer tape. And then I always like to work backwards and make sure everything comes off. So I'm just gonna flip it upside down and then just peel backwards. Perfect. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited for this. So before I start, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna put it in the correct way. So if I would do it, this way, like let's say I put it on this way, it would be backwards. So I always wanna check and make sure and see which way it's gonna be going. So see, I would have been wrong. So you wanna do it this way with the zipper side down. So I'm just gonna take it, find the center of it. Get all my stuff out of the way. Find the center. And put it on. Guys, I'm so excited about this. Like I said, I love my Dave Ramsey one, but I think this is gonna be more personalized. It's gonna be, you know, fun to kind of carry around and to see how much money I'm spending. And like I said before, even if it's online spending, like Amazon is obviously online spending, um, I can still have a piece of paper in there and write down how much I wanna spend on it or just kind of have cash in there and take it out as I spend it. Um, but it's all up to you, it's just a way of saving money. But I'm just using my scraper now and I'm just scraping it on here. And so you wanna make sure all the bubbles and everything are out and then just lightly peel back your transfer tape. 
Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. And I absolutely love this holographic vinyl. I've never worked with it before. It was a little bit of a pain trying to weed it, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, am I the only one excited? So as I was doing this, I was thinking, I'm gonna do a giveaway for one of these. I'm gonna do a giveaway for the whole binder itself. Um, not the part that it's gonna be written. You guys can do that by yourselves. Um, but I think I'm gonna do a giveaway for this whole binder to help somebody out with this new year with the budget if you're interested. So I'm thinking that I'll leave a link below to the raffle copter for this um, and we'll get it started as soon as I publish this video so stay tuned for that and make sure you enter because this is amazing and it will definitely help you save money so watch out for that so keep going with the video here's my first one Amazon I still have my transfer tape I don't I don't really ever use another piece unless it gets really not sticky or gets some stuff on it so I'm just gonna use it for the next one so the next one's gonna be phone so I'm just gonna do the same thing just lay it down use my squeegee and scrape it really well to make sure you get all the bubbles out and make sure it sticks and then again I like to work upside down just to make sure everything comes up as it should perfect and then again take your piece make sure that the zipper is down and then again find the center piece the center of it lay it down Use your squeegee again and just squeegee it on making sure that no bubbles are in it or anything and then you can just peel off the transfer tape and you just have your vinyl left over. Perfect. I love it. What do you guys think? Do you like this? Do you like the holographic vinyl? I love that. That's beautiful. So I'm going to finish these up. I just have a few left over here and I'll finish it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. But basically that's all you have to do is just take this, take your transfer tape and put it onto there and it's beautifully done. So I'm going to skip this since you guys know how to do it now and I'll come back when I'm all finished with it. All right, so I am finished putting all these together. I love how they turned out there. So I have a gas one, a miscellaneous one, a savings one, which is really important to me, a phone one, Amazon, which is really huge for me, and then also a grocery one for when we go grocery shopping. There's obviously so many more that I need to do, but I just wanted to show you that. And I did put the Jen's budget binder on here. I love how it turned out, but I just wanted to show you the last thing. And something that I just noticed when I put my thumb here was, they have little pen spots so how cool is that you can stick a pen in here and you can write down stuff if you want but I love this binder it's getting more awesome I actually see there's another one up here so how cool is that so the last part to do is just put the things in here so I'm gonna put them all together and I'm just gonna put them all right in here but this is just a fun and easy project it'll hopefully help you save money if you budget I'm hoping that it's gonna definitely help me out this year but if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. But look at how easy that was. And you just put your money in here. And if you have coupons, you can put your coupons in here. If you have like your store cards, you can put them on the side here. So it makes it so much easier. You got the pen and then it just sticks right there. So this was really easy. It was a fun project. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, but leave a comment below if you're interested in one of these. I'll leave the, all the information below and I'm going to start a raffle copter for this if you guys are interested in winning one of these to design and make for yourself. So stick around for that and good luck everybody. Happy crafting. Hope you enjoyed this video.